it to Berlin. I can't believe I'm saying that. This is my first time to Germany. I have my huge backpack. Got my little bag. Get a little hot and sweaty. I'm currently trying to track down my hostel. Got a little lost trying to get from the airport to the city center. Made it. I'm so psyched, but gotta find that hostel first. You just can't seem to make up your mind. I'm on the third floor and my backpack is very heavy. Welcome to my hostel room. As you can see, I've kind of just like set my clothes everywhere. It's cute, it's good enough for me. Let's set you up and chat a little, shall we? Figured I would take a second to share where I am, why I'm here, what I'm doing, the whole deal. So I am in Germany and I'm here solo. I haven't done a solo trip since Switzerland, which was a video that quite a few people saw on my channel. It was kind of my first big solo trip. And so this is my second, I'm back. The last time I did a solo trip, I was staying in a shared hostel. So now I have a private room hostel, so we're, we're glowing up a year later. I just finished doing a tour trip around Scandinavia where I was working with a tour group company called EF Ultimate Break. And I was like, well, I'm already in Europe, like might as well go travel. And none of my friends were free to travel. So I was like, I'm gonna just do my own thing. And so I'm here for about a week to just kind of explore, do my own thing. I literally extended the trip like about a week ago booked all my housing like two days ago. So I have like no clue what I'm doing. Don't have any plans, just kind of going with the flow. But I do hope to make some friends, hopefully. I always get a little social anxiety whenever I travel, especially solo. So fingers are crossed that I meet some cool people. I'm gonna head out to a park. I'm, I'm gonna butcher the name, it's called Meyer Park, where there's a flea market going on. Let's go explore Berlin. Hello, I'm back with some makeup, a change of clothes, and some exciting news. I just posted on my Instagram to see if anyone was in Berlin and a friend from high school that I've like fully fallen out of touch with and haven't seen in like probably five or six years lives in Berlin. So she's actually gonna come join me at the flea market. We're gonna grab coffee together. I love how like worlds can combine in such weird, crazy ways. <laughs> It's honestly so nice out. I feel like I came at the perfect time because the weather is prime. Yesterday was super fun. We went to the park, which was incredible. I really, really liked it. It was way cooler than I expected. I felt like I was at a festival. Everyone was just hanging out. There was so much music, so much going on. I like, literally that alone made me like start to fall in love with Berlin. We found a Together Pangea concert super last minute, which is a band I love. And then ended up like going out dancing and like meeting new people and making some friends. And so it was just like a very unexpected night, but that's kind of my favorite thing. Having like spontaneity and flexibility and kind of seeing where it takes you. Just so random, but so great. So new morning, new day. I am about to go do a walking tour, which was highly recommended to me. Just so I can kind of get to know some more of like the history of Berlin. Obviously I'm really interested to learn more about like, World War II history and Cold War history. So it's gonna kind of do that and show like some of the Hot spots. It's also free, which is incredible. It's just by tips, so it's great if you're on a budget. So I'm excited to take that, learn from a local about, you know, Berlin. So let's check it out. Projection of a certain amount of strength, power, and authority of the vineyard to say. Now, when it comes to the Nazis,
I just finished the walking tour, which I really enjoyed. It took us to a lot of like just major sites around here. Went to like where Hitler's bunker was. We went to Jewish Memorial, the Berlin Wall, Checkpoint Charlie, just some really notable spots. So if you're coming to Berlin, I highly recommend doing a walking tour. There's a lot of people that are also solo doing walking tours. It's just really easy to start a conversation. It's like you're just walking with people for like two hours. Just be like, where are you from? And new friends. I'm actually sitting in this random square. Where I am? Just reading my book. I got kind of hot in the sun. You know, I'm just gonna honestly put in some music and just walk and explore. I haven't had like alone time in what feels like months, and so I'm really appreciating this. Just like time, like clear my head and be with my thoughts and enjoy a beautiful new city and you know, people watch and all the good things. So yeah, let's go explore. So you gotta And then on the other side of it is the museum called the Demography of Terror, which I was just in. It's a really incredible museum. I highly recommend going. It's very sobering, but I think it's really important to know the history of what's happened. Now I'm headed to go get some food. I'm gonna go the long way and walk around and take in more of the city. on my own a really cool spot that I really enjoyed and I still get like social a little bit of social anxiety every time I eat out alone I feel like I should be used to it and then I just remind myself that like literally nobody cares what I'm doing and like nobody's thinking about it besides myself and so I was like you know what I'm gonna just view it as if I'm taking myself out on a little date brought my book treated myself to a nice little meal it was delightful. Tomorrow I go to a concentration camp, which I definitely will not be vlogging. Um, I wanna be respectful, but I wanna get a few clips while there just to kind of highlight the space. And see you guys tomorrow. today. So I was at the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. It was definitely a very crazy experience. I um, booked a guided tour because I knew I wanted to have someone to kind of like walk me through it so I could understand what I was seeing. There's a famous quote that I think it goes along the lines of like, those who don't learn history are condemned to repeat it. I think it's really important to be aware of what's gone on and honestly this is like such recent history. Like this is stuff that happened like just 70 years ago which is not a lot of time at all and the fact that the humans have been capable, are capable of doing such things, I think it's important to just, yeah, know what's happened so we can prevent it for the future and stand can promote peace and acceptance of diversity and um, yeah, just learn how to love one another. So Sachsenhausen um, was a work concentration camp. I can't even begin to like remotely come close to scratching the surface of like how to go about this in a really honorable, respectful way and really dive into what's happened. So I'm just gonna keep this short, um, but I'm really glad I went. It was a really moving experience. It's easy to kind of go numb and almost like dissociate and like it's very difficult to wrap your head around the number of people that, that died or were murdered. But I try to step back and think of like one individual person and their story and their family. 
there was a, an older Jewish man who looked like he was in his 90s, maybe, who was in a wheelchair and he was being wheeled around by a younger man who had a yarmulke, hence why I'm assuming they're both Jewish. And he was just like silently crying, like going through this whole camp. And that, if anything, just like hit home of like, oh man, it's difficult to, to, to grasp all the individual stories, but to see this person, see the hurt and the pain and the way that he responded to this sp space. And it's hard to wrap your head around, but it's just heartbreaking stuff, but I'm glad I went nonetheless. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and see you guys in the morning for my last day in Berlin. Good morning, I'm alive, barely. So today's my last day in Berlin. Love you, Berlin, love you, Germany. Gonna take the day step by step. Don't have a ton of huge plans, just kinda going with the flow. It's one of the beauties of traveling solo is I get to be on my own schedule, so let's go. back in LA is like shooting a documentary in Berlin and she missed some shots so she asked me to get some shots so I've just genuinely been walking around taking video clips taking film photos listening to the cure and feeling very like angsty melodramatic <laughs> in this like gray weather but fully enjoying myself I love just walking around and like listening to music or a podcast and getting to explore city so I've been like loving it. It's been great. I'm headed to Museum Island now. Let's go check it out. It all points right to I set myself aside either way. So I am currently at Museum Island here in Berlin. I forgot the name for a second. Museum Island, which basically is a island of five museums with tons of different art and archaeology and history all the good things it's actually a unesco world heritage site which i think is super sick i'm gonna check out one of them I haven't decided as of now i'm just sitting on this bench enjoying the view it's quite peaceful i really like it Set myself aside, either 